Good morning and welcome to this week's vlog. I'm starting off tired as heck. <laughs> I just cannot today. I'm so sore. It's Tuesday. I didn't even vlog yesterday. Yesterday was a mess. I just need to update you guys on that. Um, but I'm just gonna kind of get up and force myself to do stuff. It's like 10 a.m. I woke up at like 8.30 and I literally just like haven't gotten out of bed. I'm not following my routine that I've been following for the past like month. Today is like one of the first days I haven't followed it. And I feel like crap. gym clothes and everything these are literally my new favorite shorts ever i'm obsessed with the color green recently i feel like it's been a slow obsession coming on and i just can't deny it anymore so i was thinking that this would be the easiest thing because i was drinking out of this water bottle last night but i don't know how i'm gonna get the scoop of pre-workout in here actually we'll have to be gentle and careful we'll do half at a time okay yes i literally love this pre-workout I used to like never take pre-workout. I would just drink an energy drink or just go on to the gym on nothing. But I have realized it makes the biggest difference in the motivation that I need. <laughs> Almost like I'm addicted to coffee now. But I use the Alani New. I've been obsessed with Alani New recently. This is the Hawaiian Shaved Ice pre-workout. And it's amazing. Down this while I do my Bible study in the morning, then I'm hype and ready to go for the gym. It's the best routine. Finally finished my cake from my little party I had. <laughs> and don't worry, I didn't eat the whole thing myself. Like we ate it over the weekend. Like me and Charlie and all my other friends would come over and we were, I was like, eat a slice, everyone eat a slice. Let me update you guys. Yesterday, Charlie left to go back to her hometown for the week. She's going to watch her little niece, but that means that I'm here alone for the week. Back to being alone. <laughs> but I have other friends and stuff, so hopefully I'll still do some fun stuff. Yesterday was just a mess. Well, not really a mess, but anyway, I took my clothes to Plato's Closet and they ended up not taking any more clothes because they were understaffed and I drove like decently far and then there was a lot of traffic on the way back. I pushed off going to the gym because I went on a walk that morning, but I still wanted to go to the gym. I get there, my AirPods are dead, I don't have a workout buddy, and so I just had to push through, literally put my AirPods in just so it looked like I was like, don't talk to me, you know, but no music was playing. Anyway, I got it done came home, got ready really quick, and then went to go get burgers with a lady from church that we just kind of meet once a week and hang out and talk about our walk with God and stuff. There was a bug in my car and it was freaking me out. It was a nasty bug, like cockroach vibe, but it jumped on my leg when I was like a couple minutes away, almost got in a wreck because I was so scared. I shoot it off my leg, it's on my car door. I rolled down the window and it wouldn't go out the window. So I'm like this, driving, like leaning away from my door, trying not to hit anyone it's decently traffic because it's like six o'clock and i get to the burger place never got it out probably going to be in there when i go into the car to go to the gym so i'm a little scared but that's how my day went yesterday and i didn't vlog it don't know why i just needed a break <laughs> anyway so this week i literally don't even know where my phone is i think i left it upstairs oh well i don't need it what is today today's the 19th <laughs> I finished that and I am now on my way to the gym. When I walked outside, it was actually somewhat chilly. It's 70, so it'll probably get hotter throughout the day. Okay guys, with my new hair color and like the length and everything, every time I look in the mirror, I'm like, I am literally my mother. And it's the weirdest thing. No one talks about this when you grow up and you've always been told that you look like your mom's mini me. And then you get into your 20s and you're starting to get more like adult features and stuff, I guess. I look like my mother. And like, that's not a bad thing. My mom is gorgeous, love my mom. But it's so weird. Like sometimes I look in the mirror and I'm like, Mary, who am I? I think it's the length and the color because my mom, my entire life, has had like this length hair, kind of sort of like a blonde, brownish 
hair like whether it was highlights or balayage whatever she's always had a little bit more of like a natural with some hints of blonde in it and that's kind of what my hair is right now let's have a good gym day my airpods are charged and ready to go today from the gym I was just telling TikTok about my non-physical results or progress and so I'm gonna tell you guys uh, my Apple watch just told me I completed seven weeks of workouts last week I'm starting to recognize people at the gym and um, I definitely have a lot of gym confidence now like if someone's using something I need I am totally cool to just be like are you done with that how long do you have are you using that or whatever um, where I used to be really awkward doing that but anyways I was just on the phone with my brother he just called me because he's on his way home on a road trip Trip. he was with my other brother and he just got his real estate license so we were just talking about like my house in Missouri and my plans with that and stuff and then we started talking about how I wanted to buy a house here and then yeah we just kind of were talking about a lot of really cool things which made me really excited because I might have the potential to buy a house here sooner than I thought um anyway so that was fun I'm gonna shower now and get ready for the day So I ate lunch slash breakfast or whatever and then I was just watching some shows and I need to give myself a pedicure because it's starting to get warm enough. I'm wearing sandals a lot and my toenail polish is coming off. So I'm gonna give myself a pedicure. And I'm watching the show Ultimatum. I'm on episode five. Toes painted and I was bored so I also did my makeup and my hair. I just feel like that sometimes. Whew. Alyssa ended up coming over for like five minutes and then we actually had to go to our Bible study so I didn't really vlog the rest of the night but it is the next day I'm about to take my pre-workout I'm throwing some laundry in I desperately need to do laundry you know speaking of gym things that people don't talk about laundry I have to do so much laundry I also have like the tiniest washing machine in the history of washing machines literally nothing fits in there I don't know how often y'all do laundry, but this is the first time in my life that I've been consistent with doing my laundry. And I have to do it like, I swear, more than like twice, like twice a week. And these are just things that people don't tell you. I don't know what it is about making my pre-workout in one of these like shake bottles, but it makes me feel like a whole new person. Like a real gym professional, if you will. It just feels right, you know? Mm. I've been to the gym, I cleaned up my house, I did my Bible study, I showered, and now I'm actually getting ready for a date. So this is my outfit. I wanted something that was like cute, but still like kind of casual, and it is like nice outside. So I think this is perfect. <sighs> And I want to do my makeup. I haven't really talked about my dating life since my Valentine's Day video. So let's spill a little bit of tea. I've been going on dates with the same guy. And you know, things are going really well. We have a lot of fun together. And I don't really know what else to say. <laughs> I'm excited for today's date because we're going to one of my favorite restaurants. It's like a hibachi restaurant. And then maybe since it's nice out, we'll go to like a park or something. And I don't know, maybe we'll do a fun activity. Then we'll probably come back here and have like a dessert together and play some games. Cause I love doing that. And so does he. I'm just going super simple with the makeup. And I've been thinking more and more about like how I want to be with dating and relationships on YouTube. I know I talked about not really wanting to be super public with it and I still stand by that. But you know, I do eventually if things get serious, if things go official or whatever, I would want to tell you guys that I have a boyfriend, but it probably wouldn't be like, oh, he asked me out, I have a boyfriend. Like, I probably want to tell you guys for a while because I want to make sure that, you know, it's a happy, healthy relationship before I even mention it on YouTube because why bring something like that to the internet just for it to not work out, you know? So you guys will definitely still have to wait a while. I'm sorry, but I'm trying to keep you updated as much as I feel comfortable. It's definitely really hard for me to not be super public about like dating and relationships because 
I feel like I've always been like that since I started YouTube. Like, literally when I was in high school, y'all would see me, like, go to homecoming with my dates. And, like, you guys always knew which boy I was talking to and all that kind of stuff. So this is definitely new territory for me, but I definitely think it is for the best. And then you guys know that whenever I do tell you, hey, I have a boyfriend or this is my boyfriend, if or when that happens, that it is something I am serious about and I feel very ready. I don't know if that makes sense. It'll just feel more special rather than, oh yeah, I have a boyfriend and then let's say we break up. Like, I don't want it to be every single person I date goes on this channel. You know what I mean? This is the Sydney Francis channel, not the Sydney goes on dates channel. Um, this is like a random side note, but I really want to start a series on this channel because I feel like it'll give more structure to my videos and help me be more creative. But I cannot, like for the life of me, is that the right saying? Is that how you say that? figure out a series that I would want to do on this channel. And I mean, I have like my weekly vlogs and then we've been doing like the trying different, like all the different coffee places, all the different energy drinks. So I guess that's kind of a series, but not really. Like I want like, you know, part one, part two, part three, but I cannot. I have no creative ability for some reason when it comes to that. Also, random question. I think this is so fun to ask people, but like, how long do you think is an appropriate amount of time before you should get engaged if marriage is what you're going for? Because where I grew up, it was like six months to a year. A year is like kind of like maxing out, like you should already be engaged. And that is like not my vibe anymore. So I'm like, what is normal? And obviously like in my own relationship, I think I'll know when I'm ready or when we're ready. And it can be different different for every single relationship. But I feel like a lot of times people will be like, oh, if he doesn't propose after like three years, like you should have a serious talk about it. But then the other people like are like, no, nah, you should stay for like 10 years. So I know it is definitely like a personal decision and it's between you and your significant other and what goals you have in life and stuff. But I'm just curious, like your guys' individual opinion, what do you think? I feel like for me, it would be a minimum of two years of dating. Also, maybe this is a little controversial, but I think and once again, this is a personal decision between everyone and their significant other and whatever you believe in. But I want to live with my significant other before we get married because I think you just learn a lot about each other. And I don't think that necessarily means you even have to share a room or, you know, be intimate together. But I think that just living in the same apartment or house, you learn a lot about each other. But maybe that's just me. I'm kind of curious what you guys think. I have this like line in my hair because I had space buns in yesterday. Okay, I am ready for my date now. I'll let you guys know how it goes. <sighs> It's the next day, it is Thursday, and I'm having the slowest day ever. Um, my date last night went really well. Maybe I'll talk about that a little bit later, but right now I'm getting ready for the gym, and it's almost two o'clock. Normally I go to the gym at 9 a.m. So we're on a little bit of a struggle bus today, but I had to finish a video, and I just felt more comfortable getting that done early in the morning rather than after the gym. But I have to stick a thumbnail for a video at the gym, which means I need a cute gym fit. So, let's pick that out. I'm thinking, I think these are like my cutest workout pants. Then we'll go light camo sports bra. I think I'm just gonna go with this. This top I think I got a long time ago from Target. It's just the most comfortable workout shirt ever. Leggings are from Old Navy. Let's go to the gym. So I'm taking a thumbnail for the which energy drink is the best uh, for working out video that I posted a while ago. If you guys haven't seen it, go check it out. I'm trying to get better at taking like intentional, really solid thumbnails. So I think I'm gonna go buy an energy drink because I already drank them all in that video. So I need to stop at the gas station and get an energy drink. And then I'm gonna pose with it at the gym. I think I have some sort of concept, but we'll see how it goes because I get awkward in public. And if I have the confidence, I will also walk you through today's workout. That is disgusting. Okay, kind of random, but I feel like this literally tastes like a white claw, which is disgusting. I hate seltzers, so I do not understand the hype. It literally tastes disgusting. And now, it's my only way to get energy, so I just have to drink it. Okay, it's not as bad as the first sip, but it's not good. I find no enjoyment in drinking it. 
Today's workout is kind of like a full body workout and I've recently just started incorporating the Stairmaster into my routine and it is so good. So I've warmed up with 10 minutes on the Stairmaster. I also recently finally started incorporating like a little warm up slash stretch. So stagnant stretching is at the end and dynamic stretching or mobility stretching like what I'm doing is at the beginning. And this just helps get, you know, those muscles warm and it's supposed to help with mobility and then and you'll be able to do like deeper squats and stuff like that. I just warmed up with that and today I'm just doing a bunch of different compound movements because I already did like my main workouts this week and just wanted to kind of work on some form. So I'm doing some very lightweight deadlifts to start. I did three sets of 10 and I'm really trying to focus on my form because every time I put more weight I hurt my back. I'm trying so hard to like you know keep my back straight and lift through my hamstrings and all that but I'm just still really struggling with the deadlift form so hopefully I can get better at it. If anyone has any tips let me know. If I look super awkward that would be great because I would like my back to stop hurting when I do these. Then I was just drinking my drink and potential thumbnail right here. I am doing squats so I have to move these little things down which used to make me very nervous i didn't do any weights on my squats because i'm just like kind of getting a full body quick sweat in type of thing then instead of doing dead hangs i did some hollow body holds because i really want to get my pull up i watched a video saying that those are better than dead hangs then i'm just doing some bench press i actually went a little heavier for my weight ended up doing 15 on each side and before this i was only doing 10 on each side so i mean i felt pretty strong doing these i love doing bench press then i'm kind of wrapping up here with this ab workout then I'm doing what's called an EMOM workout. I found this from a YouTuber and it means every minute on the minute. So you have a minute to do each exercise and the first one is these like thrusters and I have to do 15 of them which took me about 45 seconds. Then I can rest for the rest of the minute. Then I had 30 seconds of toe taps and then I had 30 seconds of kettlebell swings which my form looks awful here, was not aware. Then I did 12 push-ups and I thought I was going a lot further down than I was. <laughs> uh, it's always awkward re-watching workout clips uh then these like little crunch things i don't even know what to call them and i don't remember how many i had to do i think like 20 and then i got to take a rest and then i just repeated that again then this was me trying to take a potential another thumbnail and finishing my drink and that was today's workout so i didn't even vlog on friday this is saturday and i actually got sick and was sleeping for like 12 hours a night and absolutely exhausted. I think I had just had some sort of cold that was going around because there weren't any like crazy symptoms. So I was just doing the dishes and making some coffee this morning. But that is the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this weekly vlog, even though I was kind of just like alone and vlogging my thoughts. You know, we're besties. So I'm just sharing my inner thoughts with you guys and I hope you enjoyed. I will see you in the next one. Bye.